The Seattle Sounders lose their first game of the 2023 season and concede their first goal of the 2023 season and this weekend face off against the reigning MLS Cup champions LAFC. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Rave Green TV and for today's video this is going to be your preview for this weekend's match between the Seattle Sounders and LAFC. For today's video I will be joined with Connor Kolopsis from 110 Football but before we get into that I didn't do a post match review for our previous match against FC Cincinnati so I'll do a little brief review for that match before we get into this one as I feel there are some topics we need to discuss from that previous match leading into this match because I think they're key points that are important to take in consideration. I think the Sounders played okay in the match against FC Cincinnati and in my opinion that match against FC Cincinnati was the Sounders first true test of the season. I wanted to see how the Sounders would line up and play against that attacking trio that FC Cincinnati have in Brenner, Vasquez, and Acosta as I think that's the best front three in MLS and I think we did an okay job dealing with those three but all in all this match could have been a lot better for us. We did have a few chances in this match and of course we weren't going to have that many opportunities so we needed to take the ones that we got and the biggest opportunity fell to Jordan Morris who's been in pretty good form going into this match and has an open goal and misses it and after that miss the Sounders pretty much play pretty defensively for the remainder of the match kind of just hoping they might get one more opportunity to maybe squeak a win but I think the team was just playing out for a draw we're sticking with the same squad the same tactics and we're seeing the same results when we play away from home because this performance reminded me a lot of our performances from last season which is a little bit concerning and I I know a big gripe for you all was the referee in this match and I will agree with you all to a certain degree that he definitely missed that possible penalty reviewable call when FC Cincinnati clearly handballed it in their own box and I was shell-shocked that was not reviewed but at that point in the match the game was still nil-nil it was within our own hands it was within our own reach but instead we let our heads drop and we concede minutes after that it was really sloppy from us defensively and honestly from the 60th minute on we looked really sloppy in that match and it wasn't until we conceded we thought hey now let's start playing toe to toe against FC Cincinnati and I don't like those kind of tactics from Brian Schmetzer I get it that we played really well in our previous matches but it doesn't hurt to chop and change our lineup depending on the opponent but now let's move on to this weekend's match against the reigning MLS Cup champions LAFC despite having their home opening match against the LA Galaxy canceled LAFC have looked absolutely sharp this season scoring 10 goals across their three matches in all competitions this team looks absolutely lights out out. And going into this match, I'm very worried to see how the Sounders play against them because I don't think Brian Schmetzer is going to be changing any of our tactics going into this match. I think we're going to play the exact same lineup except Rui Diaz is going to start over Freddie Montero. And if we all know that's what Brian Schmetzer is going to do in this weekend's match, do you think Steve Chirundel already knows his tactics on how he wants to go up against us? In my opinion, going into this match, I think we should go with the three in the back wing back formation. I think some of our best performances against LAFC throughout 2020 to 2021 was with that formation. For how good Tillman, Vela, and Buwanga have looked this season, I don't think a little bit of extra defensive coverage would hurt us in this match. And I don't mind if we don't have a lot of possession in this game, have to be more defensive and spring on the counterattack. If those are tactics we have to deploy to counteract LAFC's tactics, I think that's a good idea to get all three points. We don't always have to go with the same lineup if it worked against RSL and Colorado Rapids because this is a different team. This is a different lineup we're going up against and these are different tactics. So in my opinion, I think we should deploy that five in the back formation with the wingbacks because I think that could counteract LAFC's amazing offense so far this season. We play a little bit more defensive, play more on the counterattack, but I think this will suit our group of players and help us get three points in this match. But let's get Connor into today's video and get his thoughts and his opinions going into this weekend's match. So Connor, I first and foremost want to say uh, congratulations on winning this previous year's MLS Cup. Welcome to the the MLS winners party. How does it feel not being an MLS Cup winner? It, I mean, it feels great, first and foremost. Thank you, Shion, for that. Um, probably in the most dramatic fashion anyone has ever won it, if we're being completely honest. I was at the final, I was going through the motions, there was a point in which I was genuinely like coming to terms with the fact that we lost MLS Cup final at home and kind of having to gather myself, be like, it's okay, this happens, this is football, and then bail, right? Um, <laughs> But no, I'm going to be riding that MLS Cup uh, till the day I die, um, and I'm, I'm I, and I love it, and I love the bragging rights. I love just being able, like everyone's still trying to talk smack about LAFC even after we won it, and I don't care. 
I'm happy. You can't can't knock me off my 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 high horse now because uh, I uh, I have all the credibility I need. Now. Thoughts on the start of LAFC season? Obviously, your, your guys' home opener with the LA Galaxy got canceled, but it hasn't affected you guys one bit at all. You guys have scored ten goals in your last three games, and that's in all competitions, obviously, but. How's the start of the season been like? And what are your thoughts and feelings going into this match? Well, I think the biggest thing to know, I mean, LAFC has, for a championship winning, reigning champion uh, team, the amount of outgoing uh, uh, players as well as incoming transfers has kind of been high. One of which is Chicho Ronco, our top scorer last year, uh, MVP candidate. Um, and we lost him for six million to Liga Mekis. And a lot of people were saying, you know, LAFC without a true number nine, or as everyone likes to call, um, might not put up the same numbers uh, next year, might not be as good as next year. But as you said, 10 goals in, was that three games? It doesn't look to be a problem now with uh, Denny Bawanga looking to be a, an MVP cal uh, caliber player. Three goal hat trick in the CONCACAF Champions League down in Costa Rica, two goals last night. Um, so long story short, very good start to the season for LAFC. All those issues in which people were bringing up prior to preseason seem to not be an issue, but only the, uh, the test of the full season will tell. Um, as for the Seattle game, I always love going up. I, I won't be there, unfortunately, but I always love LAFC going up to now Lumen Field. It's always a, a fun environment and always a, I mean, these two teams have somewhat of a history against each other, right? Whether that be in the playoffs, first game ever in LAFC history, um, et cetera. And I just think it's going to be a good game. Seattle's playing a lot better this year, although they didn't um, get a win uh, in the last match week. It's always, I, I, I like to see Jordan Morris doing well again, um, but I digress. We've spoken about a lot of things since we've had you on on this video but what are the expectations for lafc this season because you guys won mls cup you once you kind of you also broke the supporter shield curse because you won supporter shield you won mls cup which usually if you win the supporter shield you can bank on the team's not going to win mls cup you broke that curse which could be a good thing honestly for the long term of mls what are now the expectations what do you guys have to do because for me looking at lafc because of what happened in 2020 it has to almost be a ccl and try to make another big push in the playoffs and try to win it again it has to be a this has to be like a stupendously big season for you guys yeah in a weird way when we won it uh last year I, there was just like this this calmness after after winning it where it's like I, I didn't have to prove anything anymore like we don't like I don't care if we win it this year you know what I mean because it's just like we we we, we check that box that being said I I understand uh wholeheartedly whether it's the fans or everyone involved within the LAFC organization the goal every single year is to win everything that's up for grabs so if it's MLS Cup it's winning MLS Cup if it's Porter Shield it's Porter Shield if it's CONCACAF Champions League it's CONCACAF Champions League so uh short answer it's win everything possible